the fatherhood of God and the new family. Matthew chapter 9, chapter 6 and verse 9. Matthew 6 and verse 9. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father who is in heaven, let your name be honored. Let your name be honored. Let your name be honored. Hallowed be your name. Honored be your name. Exalted be your name. Our father talks of God as the father of the Lord Jesus Christ and your father and my father. John chapter 20 verse 17. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, go to my brethren. I said to them, I am ascending to my father and to your father, to my God and to your God. The father of our Lord Jesus Christ is my father because I am born again. I am born of God. I am God's child. If you are born again, you are born of God. If you are born of God, you are God's child. If you are God's child by faith in Christ Jesus, listen, God is your father and he is responsible for all of your needs. As a father, you see, earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to their children. From day one, a father will always make provisions for his child. Until a child graduates from the university, the father willingly, faithfully invests all to ensure that that child is raised. The day you got born again, you became like a day-old baby born by an earthly parent. God is divinely obligated to you as a father. He provides for you the sincere milk that you need, from the, the food you need, the clothing, the, the accommodation you need, the health you need, everything you need, God provides. Our father is our provider. That is what I'm trying to establish. The fatherhood of God and the new family makes God our provider. He is not only our father, our creator. We did not just come out of God, but he is responsible for all of our needs. He is our provider. He provides from the day we got born again into the kingdom and family of God until the day we are matured enough to start work, he still gives us all we need to do his work upon the earth. God is our provider as a father. Every earthly father provides for his children. In order to explain that, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, from verse 7, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. In chapter 6, verse 9, he said, When you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Understand that. Then jump down to Matthew 7, 7. He was teaching what we call the Beatitudes. He was teaching about the kingdom lifestyle. First, know that God is your Father. Now he said in chapter 7 of Matthew, and from verse 7, Ask your Father, and he will give to you. Seek you will find whatever you're seeking for. For as long as God is your father, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. He that seeketh, find it. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened unto him. He said, now, I ask you, which of you that's a father here on earth, if his child will come to him and say, Father, I need bread. He asks, will the father, even though he's wicked, give stone to his child who is asking for bread? He said, no way. What about if he asks for a fish or an egg? Will he give him a serpent or a scorpion? No way. Now he says, if you then be wicked, as fathers can give good gifts to your children because they are your children, how much more shall God, your heavenly father, give good gifts, the best gifts to his children who ask him? God, our father, is our provider. He does not want to see you live in lack one single moment of your life. 
Just understand who you are as the child of God. You become a child of God by being born of God. How are you born of God? First John 5 and verse 1. Bible says, For whosoever shall believe that Jesus is the Christ, he is born of God. Look at it. Look it up. First John 5 and verse 1. Whosoever, whosoever believes or believe it, that Jesus is the Son of God, is born of God. In verse 5, it says, Who is he that overcomes the world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So, in verse 1, you will believe that Jesus is the Christ. You are born of God. You will believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. You overcome lack in the world by faith in Christ. You overcome sickness in the world by faith in Christ. You overcome Satan in the world by faith in Christ. You overcome hardship in the world by faith in Christ. You overcome troubles in the world by faith in Christ. You overcome every challenge of life in the world by faith in Christ. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Son of God overcomes the world. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Whosoever of, is born of God, whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God. And if you are born of God, you overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith. So when you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, you are born of God and you overcome the world. That means whatever affects those who are not in Christ cannot affect you because when you are born of God, you become a child of God. And if you become a child of God, God is your father. And if God is your father, he is responsible for all of your needs. Protection needs, provision needs. He is your father. He secures your life. He provides for all of your needs. He supplies all of your needs according to his own. Riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You must understand that as a member of the family of God, as a member of the new family of God, God is your father and he is responsible for all of your needs. He is our provider. Abraham was told by God to, the, to go to the mount and offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. He obeyed God, God there, took his son, burned him, made the altar, wanted to kill his son. God said to him, now I know you fear me. In blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply you. God says so. But you know what, before God said that, he provided a lamb for the sacrifice. In chapter 22, verse 8 of Genesis, Abraham said, God will provide himself a lamb for the sacrifice. Everything you need, God will provide it for himself because he is your father. No matter where you are, for as long as you are God's son, listen, God is obligated to providing and supplying all of your needs. I'm a father. My son, my, my son, two of my sons are in school right now. There is nothing they need that is within my power that, that I cannot give them. They are my children. Anywhere they are, they are my children. I am responsible until they grow to start their own families. I am responsible. Even if they start their own families and there are things I need to do for them as their father, I will do it. God is our provider because our father. I decree from today you will never know lack. Come on now. Anywhere you are, the provisions of our father will get to you by any means. Hear me? At all costs and by all means, heaven's provisions, the Provisions of our father will get to you. When my son was in secondary school, in the dormitory, we go there to give what he needs. We don't need to wait for him to ask because we don't want him to suffer. Your sufferings are ended today. Because of the fatherhood of God, which compels him to care for you, I decree that all the things you need shall be given to you from today. In the name of of Jesus Christ. May your lack end now. 
In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy the fatherhood of God as a part of the new family of God. And be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.